As we celebrate Latinos across the country, we take time to acknowledge and honor our Lenape relatives who were the first to inhabit this land, where I currently stand, New York City. In this ancestral territory, the Lenape had their own customs, traditions, and languages. Language in itself is a living culture, and for many Latinos who recognize their indigenous heritage, there is a growing pride in speaking the native languages that were here before Europeans arrived. Tonight, a story of a community and a school that takes that pride to a new level, redefining notions on education and upbringing, and coming up with results. Here's ABC's Alex Perez. My identity is a way to tell my story. A clearer vision of the future comes from understanding our past. These are the soul-moving rhythms of an unshaken identity, understanding who we are and the traditions that run deep through our veins and right into our hearts. In Los Angeles, it's how the day began when we visited Anahualcamecac Prep, this Danza Azteca circle underway. We ask you for your best spirit today, dedication to your learning, and the life that you want to live. The focus for students here is as much on academics as it is on understanding their own roots and foundation. My name is Alexander Maldonado and I am Mexicano. My name is Malinali, I am Nawa. My name is Salma Perez, I identify as Zapoteca and Mixteca. It's important for our students to know where they come from and that's what that identity should reflect. When we use labels like Hispanic and Latino and even Latinx, we're erasing the history of each family, of each nation and of each person in a way that is a part of the, the overall erasure of our history. I grew up in a Mexican immigrant neighborhood. I went to a mostly all white high school and as soon as I got there, I felt like I was different and my skin was different and the things I was so proud of, I was suddenly trying to be quiet about. It seems the complete opposite here. Well, we would hope so. The school, you know, is a beacon to many about what can be done differently in a school. Can you tell me why you like the school? I like it because I get to learn a language that my ancestors speak. The more than 250 students here take typical classes like history, math, and Spanish, but they also study Nahual, the language of the Aztecs in central Mexico, honoring their indigenous roots. These Nahual teachers are zooming in from Mexico. Language is how we express ourselves, how we see the world. ¿Cómo se dice gracias? Plazo camate. Marker. This explanation of who you are, where you come from, has that helped you? Be prideful in your skin color, in your being? Yeah, definitely. A tree can't grow unless it has roots, you know? And a lot of people never make the link. They think of Latino and then they think indigenous, but they don't think of them combined. How do you explain that to those people who don't get it? I don't identify with terms like Latino or Hispanic, because I think many times those terms are used as blanket terms to identify so many different people, so many different traditions. Ultimately, it just excludes all these different identities. For hundreds of years of colonization, people have tried to assimilate us and try to put labels on us. Catch all umbrella words like Latino and Hispanic have long been polarizing. About 40% in these groups do often identify as Hispanic or Latino, but roughly half say they describe themselves more specifically by their family's country of origin or heritage. My name is Edwin Tolentino, and I'm from the Dominican Republic. My name is Tadeo Asojano. I am Afro-Dominican. My name is Ruth Salas, and I'm Afro-Colombian. Okay, we ready? Okay, go vamos. Danis Lamora Perez Prades is the founder of Oyu Oro, an Afro-Cuban dance company. My dance is a way for me to fight, to preserve what we have. If we don't preserve our culture, we lose everything that we have and what we are. Because when you don't have history, you don't have identity. These steps, these beats, these moves, the lasting influence of African slaves brought by brute force to the Americas, where despite what the slaves endured, they maintained the dance and music they so loved and passed it on. 
If I do a Roomba movement with my skirt, my hips, all this flavor, right? That is Africa. All that power, all that beauty within the movement, it relates me with Africa and with Cuba. I will never be able to separate that. But separate is exactly what many with proud, blended identities are sadly often asked to do. Somebody told me who you are, I said, I'm a woman. What are you from, from Cuba? Ah, you're from Cuba, you're not black, you're Hispanic. No, I'm a black Hispanic. People don't know. People, oh, you know, you're like, you're Cuban, there's black in Cuba, this is happening, you're, yes. There's a lot of black in Latin America. I want people to know who I am, because what you don't know, you don't respect. And I want respect. The national reckoning after the murder of George Floyd, igniting a renewed push for awareness and proudly celebrating who you are. I think now is the time that people are actually being conscious about it. Like, oh, I'm like Afro-Dominican. Oh, I'm Afro-Puerto Rican. I'm Afro-Cuban. I love that. People need something. Necesitan algo donde se puedan sujetar. Algo en lo que puedan creer. For Donnie's and her daughter, that something to believe in, to live, and to love is dance. When I'm dance, everything is possible. When I'm dance, I can touch the sky. I can see God. Hola. <laughs> Who you are can be found in more than one place. Buenos dias, Marta. There is no culture without food, and there's no food without culture. My name is Claudia Serrato. I am Purepecha, Huasteca, and Chicana. Today I'm going to be making uh, an atole. As a child, I didn't know what life was without atole. Atole, the millennia-old traditional hot beverage made from corn, kind of like a comforting, warm, creamy deliciousness. If we are not eating food that is culturally relevant, then we're going to let those foods go. Not only will the food disappear, but the songs, the ceremonies, and the flavors. That's what keeps us alive. It's what keeps us going. You like it? I love it. <laughs> keeps us going, whether it's in the kitchen, classroom, dance studio, or anywhere else. My name is Alex Perez. I'm Afro-Latino, orgulloso de mis raíces cubanas y puertorriqueñas. In orgullo, pride, and the rich history we all carry within. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.